Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. So today's video is a request based video where I got a request from one of my subscribers to do a video on portrait paper cut of Yoon Woo. So here we are with this video and let's get started. So the first thing that you require for portrait creation is the portrait stencil which you need to create digitally. I already have a lot of videos on my channel on how to create the portrait stencil and you can click the card at the top of the screen to visit that video and understand how to create it. This particular image I have taken from internet, it's a freely available image. So this is the stencil that I have created. And as you can see that the stencil is fairly straightforward, but there's a lot of complexity in the hair. There are a lot of cuts that needs to be made on the hair and hence we'll start with that. Uh, then we will uh, proceed with the rest of the portrait. Doesn't matter in which sequence you do as rest of the portrait is fairly simple. Uh, what I have decided is that I'm going to cut all the black areas and I'm going to retain all the white areas. Normally on the dress portions we uh, do it reverse but this is fairly straightforward and uh, it doesn't matter whether I'm inversing it or not because at the end of the day it's just white color portrait. So we'll just simply cut uh, all the black areas as they are fairly interconnected and you can easily remove them. The white portions are very much distributed and you cannot cut it out. So. Before you start cutting, you need to prep your stencil a little bit. That means that you need to ensure that all the white areas are interconnected, which you want to retain. Uh, in the hair, uh, I'm not going to do any kind of prep work because I can do it on the fly while cutting. So I'm going to do it that way. But if you are not comfortable doing it on the fly, then you can definitely go ahead and prep the hair area also, ensuring that the entire white area is interconnected. But I will do it on the fly. Once the prep work is complete, uh, now, uh, now I will start with the hair and for the paper cutting, I'm going to utilize this Olfa paper cutting knife and I'll start with the head and start cutting the portions in the hair. As you can see, th there are a lot of intricate details in the hair part of the stencil and it becomes slightly difficult to cut these portions because a lot of times we tend to undercut or overcut. So to address these kind of cuts, there is a trick to it. You can keep your knife in the regular slanted position, but as you approach a corner or an end point, you make your knife a little bit more vertical so that you are cutting completely with the tip of the knife and you are not doing overcutting or undercutting. So this is the method that I utilize for all the intricate areas in this entire portrait. So I'll finish the hair and then I will move towards the ear and rest of the face except the eyes. Eyes I'm going to do at the end because the paper is going to move quite a lot while I'm doing the cutting and I don't want the paper cut around eyes to get disturbed or damaged in any way. So nowadays I see that a lot of people have taken interest in making these paper portraits and it's a good thing. It's a really good form of art. So if you are interested in, you know, making these portraits really beautiful, the one thing that you really need to take care of is to bring in as much detail as possible. Now here is one area where you can take certain leeway because there is already a lot of detail. And even if you miss certain amount of detail, it's okay. But when you come to the face, even a small dot present on the face has to be cut. You do not leave out anything. Cut as much as possible and as accurately as possible. Do not try to smoothen the edges uh, during cutting. Do not try to get rid of the you know difficult areas during the cutting. Do it accurately and as per the edges created by the stencil. The more accurately you will do, the more realistic your portrait is going to look like once you are finished. You can take leeway on the hair, you can take a little bit of leeway uh, on the clothes and uh, you know other portions of the portrait. But on the face, do not uh, try any shortcuts. Try to capture as much detail as possible. As you can see that I have done in this portrait. I have taken leeway in the hair. I have, you will see that I will take a little bit of leeway on the jacket that the person is wearing. I will not uh, try to capture all the details. I will smoothen out the lines while I am cutting. So that you can do because that is not drastically going to alter the features of the portrait. But the face, if you take shortcuts on the face, it is definitely going to alter the features of your portrait and the person may not even look like uh, the way he or she is supposed to be. So be very careful when you are making the face. Also, when you are working on the clothes, especially if the person is wearing a single colored 
jacket or a single colored uh, you know shirt or dress then in that case you will see that the stencil will unnecessarily create a lot of dots black dots on the dress mostly because of the shadows in the portrait but uh, you don't need to actually you know cut these dots it's completely up to you the more you will cut the better it is going to look like but you can leave that also because in this portrait i am not going to cut all those small small black dots that are present on the jacket that person is wearing what I, what i am definitely going to cut are the you know edges of the dresses so that uh, it looks like after paper cutting that the person is wearing a jacket but i am going to get rid of uh, everything else finally i move on to the eye uh, obviously my video is in fast forward mode but uh, uh, when i do i i am doing it at half the speed that i will do rest of the portrait because i have to be extremely careful there are a lot of minute details in the eyes and you have to take care of them so when you are doing the eye be really extremely careful do not rush it at all if you miss the eye you will basically have to do the entire portrait again a lot of people do the eyes first so that if they do it incorrectly they you know just redo the entire portrait again they, they don't have to redo much uh, but i prefer to keep it at the end an incentive because rest of my portrait is ready and i have to be really careful when cutting the eye now lastly i am cutting the borders uh, around the portrait uh, get rid of rest of the uh, white space or the empty space around the portrait it's a good practice to get rid of that white space because uh, unless you are deliberately trying to showcase what's behind the person it's better to get rid of it then the portrait looks a little bit more classy against a black background or in a shadow frame and here we are i'm removing the white space and here is the final portrait it has come out really nice i was able to make this in just 2 hours uh, time and it it has come out really beautiful so guys uh, i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys liked it then please don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends also do subscribe to my channel for regular videos on paper arts and i will see you guys very soon in my next video till then stay safe take care and bye bye